No, but I want to hear why you've been saying certain things to express what you've been saying. Because at, at first, I was a fan of his. I was seeing the good that he was doing, but he doesn't realize just a little bit of bad that you do can outweigh what you're doing is good. And you don't understand. People got three minds, and they see what they see. When And then, they, you know, when all these stories of these girls popping up, like Yana and Lolly and all that stuff, in my mind, I already knew. He, it didn't have to be exposed. I could tell by the questions and his giggling, and, and like you know what I'm saying, I know what his mind. I know what his mind is working. I can read people very well. And then I think on his panel, I asked him several times, "What was he in therapy for?" And he always reflects and doesn't want to answer the question. Well, he's on the panel now, and I've, Marcus, it's your turn. <laughs> It, honestly, it's none of your business what I discuss in therapy. I don't know why you think I owe you that explanation. It has nothing to do with a sex addiction or anything like that. I can tell you that. Um, what else did you say? You said that basically. Um, so, so the questions that I asked. So, again, see, most of y'all are like most of y'all are not day ones, right? My day ones who literally have been here since I was under ten thousand subscribers. Um, they have seen my evolution. I was. But okay, go ahead. So, so then my day ones have seen my evolution, and they knew that at the beginning the sex questions was way worse. <laughs> like I was asking all type of stuff or whatever, and I kind of honed in on certain questions because they kept coming up. They kept being um, answered in a way that I didn't expect. And so when it comes to the sexual assault questions and things like that, yes, that's what happened. And then also, also, you don't see like how after the interview, you know, they would either give like this real big long hug or whatever it is because they feel relieved. They feel lighter because they got to talk about it. And they didn't know that they was going to talk about it when they woke up that morning. This guy just came out of nowhere you know, ask them to do an interview, and then boom, we're talking about stuff that they wouldn't have thought about. So if you could imagine how that may feel to somebody, right? And again, so, you know, a big hug afterwards, a small conversation, you know, maybe we talk about, you know, some of the things that can help or this or that. Um, but it, it's really like, at the end of the day, that's what that's what people like to see. People like to see deeper conversations. People like to see people talk about real stuff. And so, yeah, I can keep it surface level and avoid those questions. But why would I if, one, people like to see it, and then, two, people tell me all the time that this was a helpful conversation for them, that this is, and, and they, it, it, like I say, it creates a bond that they have with me because I'm able to get that out of them when, almost nobody else has ever been able to in life. This guy, they 